Let's poison the gas. Head to bed. Wake up in the morning. It's another day here at the foundation. <laughs> Great. Seven in the fucking morning. Great. Fucking great dog. Chill here, I guess. Press play. Smoke some weed for a day. You in my my show. No, I think today's the only time where I didn't meet an SCP because at all. Because why not? Finally, a day with no danger. Fair time enough. to go celebrate with some food. Security alert! Security alert! SCP outbreak! This is not a drill! There has been an SCP outbreak! So, well, talk about bad What's your name? Uh... Charlie. I guess I should go check that. What's yours? Isaac. What are you pretty much? I can... I can freeze time. To know. Until then, please, just try to survive. So we join for the for a day. What about you? I, I'm the son of the Sky King, basically. Cool. So Georgie, how old you are? Twelve years old. What about you? Twenty-seven. Turning 28 next year, this year coming up. So, happy birthday. Are you aware of these effects you have on people? Your friends. You're all right. When people see you in the eye, they become enraged. And soon after so, Georgie, you, you want to go out? I don't know what you're talking sure, about. Sure, baby. Cool. Is that so? Lovely baby, Georgie. Okay, then. Lovely right king. Next to you on the floor. Can you stand hey, up and let man? me see your eyes? Show, really sure, baby. Cool. I know SCP-053. You can't be looking at people when they come into your room. We talked about this. I'm sorry. Are you mad at me? No, but <sighs> it's been nine minutes. We should really be going now. God also, damn. I regret to inform you. Look at that off. This is my last time I'll be seeing you. What? Turn around. I'm sorry. I 
can I have someone else? Someone that can help it's better understand you. Two. Farewell, SCP-053. God damn. Okay, sit down. Okay. So, what's your number? Because SCP I tend to get hungry when working with SCPs. Three, you see, five, the SCPs six, seven. Nervous, and when I'm nervous, I eat. Fair enough. And last but not least, don't be in the same area as 053 for longer than 10 minutes. Alright, and so what exactly is my objective here? Just get her to talk. Oh, I'm great at talking. That's probably why they chose you for this mission. We'll provide you with a clipboard and a list of questions to ask her. She's still a mystery to the Foundation. Because another join. Talk with her and don't look at her. Got it. Great. Oh, and Corey, before you do that, do you think I can take this package to Dr. Patience? What is it? I'm not sure, to be honest, but he has been expecting it for a while now. Said he had to contact the higher-ups for permission. Anyways, I gotta get going. Sure, I'll give him the package. Not before I get to see what's inside of it. Hmm. Huh. Ricky! Oh my god, where have you been? Really? How did that happen? No way. You have to tell me more about this later. Let's get you to Dr. Patience. And then we'll meet up for second lunch. Huh. Corey, I said not to open the package! Run, Bricky, run! Hello? Is someone there? Hey, my name is Corey. I'm going to be asking you a few questions if that's all right. I guess so. Right, so <clears throat> let's start with your name. They just call me 053. It's not a very nice name. I see. Well, I'll ask if they can change that to something more fitting for you. Really? Yeah, sure. No problem. Hey, can you tell me a little bit about your family? I don't remember much. I mostly have memories of my grandma. She said my parents had to go away somewhere for a very long time. How was it like living with your grandmother? She was very sweet, but she did have two rules. One was to never go outside, and the other was to never look at her. I see. And how did you end up coming here? 
Do you have any recollection of that? Well, they didn't listen to her. And they found me. They said they'll be taking care of me now. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Do you at least like living here? I don't mind it. I just wish I had a friend. Well, maybe I can be your friend. That's what they always tell me. Then one day they just stop showing up and someone else comes in. Well, that's not good. Hey, I'll try to see you as much as possible. Or rather, not see you. Or just visit you uh, as much as possible. SCP-053's food ready? Ah, yes. You can go ahead and give it to her. Hey, where you at? What the? Ah. What happened? She, she touched me. Oh, that's not good. Uh, come on, let's get you checked up then. Maybe Doctor Patience can help you with. I'm dead. I'm dead because of her. Hey, we don't know that for sure. Maybe the doctors can. No, it's over. I'm going to. SCP-053. Well, if we keep having incidents like these, we may have to put more of a limitation on her having any human contact. We can't do that. She seems to be unaware of the effects of her power. What do you suppose we do then? I just feel bad for her. She must be so lonely. Well, there really isn't much you can do. She'll kill any human who touches or makes eye contact with her. Any human, huh? Huh? Who goes there? It's not dinner time yet. Aw, oh, how cute! A little black guy! Hey, you it! <laughs> CP. I should go hide before anyone tells me to go catch it. Huh. Ah, Corey. Just the person I needed to talk to. 
We need to go catch an SCP. Uh, let me guess. It's that Keter SCP that got loose, isn't it? Oh, no, this is a different SCP. Oh, thank God. What we're going for is much, much worse. Smaller. Oh, whew. That's right, Corey. What we're going after today is, uh, a cat. Huh. Okay, so we're looking for a cat SCP. What makes this cat an SCP? Well, it's half a cat. Half a cat? Wait a minute. If it's half a cat, that probably means it's dead. Ugh, no. This is SCP-529, a.k.a. Josie the Half-Cat. Oh! So, is Josie, like... The butt part of the cat, or the head part? The head and front paws and body are visible, yes. So does it just have legs, or...? See, that's the strange thing about Josie. She acts as if her legs are still there and walks just fine. But if you were to put a hand where her legs should be, you'd feel nothing. Hmm, how odd. So did she get out of her containment area or something? Actually, Josie's one of the few SCPs that's allowed to roam the lower floors of the Foundation. Oh. Wait, so, then why do we have to look for her, then? <laughs> well, when the alarms rang from that Keter SCP, she got scared and ran somewhere around here. So, did the General tell you you have to go find SCP-529? Well, no, but... Okay, fine. General Constantine had me look after her, then the alarms rang, and she got scared and ran away, and now I'm enlisting you for help. Ah, so the truth finally comes out. Yes, yes, I do suppose I could help you, but, you know, I am kind of hungry. I might just decide to get lunch instead. If you help me, I'll give you my lunch. Deal. Alright, doesn't look like she's around here. Let's check the hallways to the containment cells. Meowing is going to help us find Josie. Meow, meow, meow. Uh. Meow. 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 Ha! There she is. Oh my god. I can't believe that actually worked. All right, Cole. I found the SCP. Is this the part where I terminate it? <coughs> Jesus, Corey, no. Josie's considered a safe SCP. Where'd you get a flamethrower from, anyways? Uh, don't tell General Constantine. So, okay, aside from Josie's bottomless half, what else is strange about her? That's it. Aside from that, Josie's your typical, normal cat. Oh. Then how did her legs disappear? Ah, uh, we're still unsure about that. Some theorize that the other half is in some parallel universe. Wow, imagine having to clean up after that. Yeah, glad we got the better half. There's also huh. experimentation with SCP-1730 that could have caused it, but I haven't read too much into it, to be honest. Huh, interesting. Well, that's cool. Josie seems sweet. Hi, Josie. Yeah. Well, this calls for a celebratory cheese snack. Yeah. Corey, did you just take out a cheese wheel? Yeah, what's wrong with that? See, Josie's a sweet cat. But when she sees cheese, she will attack. Okay, sure, I can share some of my- No, we are not allowed to give her cheese. She won't stop eating it, and she'll eventually become really moody when she runs out. Oh. So, I should run. Yeah, I'd start running right about now. Wow, that was really bad. Constantine shows up out of nowhere. 
Hey, it's me, General Constantine, showing up out of nowhere. Hey, General, what can I do for you? I'm sure you heard of the SCP that it be. Well, have you an owie on your finger? Yeah, from violin practice. Uh, did he just call me Hole? Oh man, that was a close one. Yeah, no kidding. He almost caught on to us. For a safe SCP, Josie is somewhat of a troublemaker, huh? Yep. Now let's get out of here before more trouble is caused. Actually, why don't you go on ahead? I have to go meet an old friend. Sure thing. Let's go, Josie. See you, Josie. See you, Paul. <laughs> well, if I ain't the old camera head, you missed me already? All right, listen here, Hooper the Pooper Scooper. I was told last week that your termination day is in three days. Huh, is that so? Under whose orders? The General's orders. He may be snooty, and yells at me a lot, but at least he shares the same vision on protecting SCPs and doing what's best for them. <laughs> you mean General Constantine? He's a joke. I know it, and the O5 Council knows it too. Hooper, what happened to you? Ever since Otis revived you, you've become hostile. Corey, why did you come see me today? Did you expect me to beg for forgiveness? Because that's not going to happen. No, Hooper, I'm here because we used to be friends. Code word. Oh, it's a free application within so, the App Store on all mobile devices. Georgie. Six years ago, you downloaded this app, correct? Sure. That well, is correct, smoke. yes. Sure. And can you restate cool. your name, please? Did you join Brandon. in the smoke? My name Thanks, is Brandon. Brandon. You're welcome. All right, Brandon. So this creature that you see, you said it appears everywhere you go. Let's have a joint yes. in the smoke. First time I've seen it on my phone, if sending you're. messages yes. and pictures with the creature's face. And then it just started appearing out of nowhere. I slowly started seeing the creature with the app. So what is this? Why is this happening to me? Brandon, not in my... what you encountered is called an SCP, specifically SCP-1471. An SCP? I won't go Ooh. into the details of other SCPs, but we're here to serve, control, and protect. Protect? Love you, so you're going to help me? Love we'll you, try baby. our best. Now, would you mind telling me what happened six years ago when you installed the app? I don't really like thinking about those times. It's just filled with nothing but regret. Please, yeah. if you let us know, we could prevent others from going through the same thing you went through. Fine. It was me and my sister, Brittany. <sighs> ah, stupid Fortnite. I'm uninstalling this game right now. <laughs> You're such a loser. Shut up, Brittany. <sighs> All these games are lame. I need new apps to install. Oh, I know a cool app you could download. Have you heard of that one creepy app? Which one? It's called Mallow. Mallow? Yeah, it's a creepy app that starts sending you weird messages. How do you know about it? Is it trending or something? My friends were talking about it. Apparently someone at school downloaded it, and it scared them so much they haven't gone to school since. Yeah, I doubt that was the app's fault. It can't be that bad. Okay, then. So get it. No, I want to watch some Undertale videos. Oh, okay, so you're scared. Ugh, you're so annoying. Fine, I'll download it, but you have to get it, too. <laughs> deal. Remind me what this app's called? It's called Mallow. Hmm, Mallow is an interactive experience that keeps you engaged and never feeling alone. That one? Yep, that's the one. For some reason, there's no review on it, though. All right, weird. But at least it's got no ads. Okay, I downloaded it. Now what? Now, you wait. Wait for what? Huh, it's a picture of me in the city. Look, it's him! Yeah, so it just goes through my photos and places a scary dog creature on there. Big whoop, this isn't scary. Oh, I got something now. Probably the same thing. Uh, he's here. What do you mean? Look. You didn't take that picture? How could I? I'm in the picture too. 
All right, I'm going to uninstall this thing and just go straight to bed. Yeah, same. So you were sent messages and then started to get photos of you with the creature there as well? Yes, but it doesn't make any sense, though, because we uninstalled the app. We have had past reports where uninstalling does not actually get rid of the app. As far as we know, the only way to truly rid yourself from it is by destroying the device that has the app installed. Yes, my sister and I both tried destroying our phones, but it was already too late by that point. We had seen the creature too many times. Going back to your story, you guys uninstalled the app, went to bed, and then what happened? Well, the next few days we would receive messages every couple of hours. What <laughs> sort of messages? Mostly photos of places we would frequently visit, like school, the market, and our home. And when did the two of you start seeing the creature in person? After a few days, my sister came into my room, afraid. Brandon? I couldn't sleep. Oh, what's wrong? Scared of that Mallow app? Well, sort of. <laughs> it's just a silly app. There's nothing to worry about. They're just weird pictures. It's not that. Oh, then what is it then? You know that creature in the pictures? Yeah, just try not to think about it too much and then it'll go away. Well, I'm starting to see it everywhere now. What do you mean, see it everywhere? Like, on your phone? No, it's not on my phone anymore. Where is the creature then, Brittany? It's looking at me through your window. Did you tell anyone about it? Parents? Friends? Yes and yes. Our parents installed security alarms, and when they didn't see anything, they waved it off and we decided to keep to ourselves. And you two have lived with this creature for years now. What's your daily life look like? After a while, we realized it was harmless, but it was just always watching us. I didn't mind it as much, but Brittany, it drove her crazy. Oh, hey. How are you doing this morning? Yeah, thought so. Solara solves the protein problem at our high-protein plant-based range. Dietitian designed. Can you Still don't me know the meaning of me? privacy, huh? Sure. And um, put your dick all the way in there. Didn't think so. You know, people think I'm crazy Dumb. talking to myself, but I have kind of taken a liking to you. What should I eat? Hey sis, what's up? Brandon, I can't take it anymore. What do you mean? You know what I mean. I hate that it keeps looking at me. People think I'm crazy, but I know who I am. I just can't take it anymore. Brittany, let's talk about this. There's nothing to talk about. It's been decided. I just wanted to tell you. I'm sorry for causing all this. And that was the last time we talked. I'm sorry to hear things ended like that. So I told you my life story. What are you going to do now? Is there a cure? Before we can create a cure, we have to understand the situation better. That's why we had you do this interview. Wait. So you brought me in here, saying you were going to help, and in the end, there's nothing? Hey, Brandon, control your temper, please. Especially if you want to see your sister again. Wait, you mean Brittany? Yes, she went to go look for help after your call. That's when the Foundation found her. And so she told you guys about my condition as well? Yes. We just had to make sure that the stories matched, so we couldn't tell you right away where she was. You can go ahead and see her now, though. Thank you for cooperating with us. Thank you. I'm sorry for getting angry. Oh, that's fine. You can take the door to your right, and a guard should guide you to Brittany. Well, that ended up being...
seeing a happy ending. Good job, Crystal. Thanks. Good job to you, too. For what? I didn't even do anything. Exactly. You didn't do anything to disturb us. Okay, fine. I was gone for the majority of the time getting food. Of course you did. But I did hear the beginning part. Mallow, right? Oh, whoa, it's free! Cory, don't <laughs> download that thing! Why not? It has zero ratings. I feel bad for the person who made this app. Cory, that app is an SCP! Ugh, okay. I won't mess with it. Wait a minute. Oh my god, it has no ads! I brought you in here to answer me this. How on earth did Hooper escape from his cell? Well, according to... Of his cell. It must have been him who shot the general. So Hooper was let out and was allowed access to weapons? Something really suspicious is going on here. Cole is already looking into the database, seeing if there's any camera footage or card access he may have received. Why isn't there a lockdown if Hooper escaped? You think this would be a bigger deal for everyone, especially the O5. We were told from the higher ups to resume work as if normal. The other doctors were also told not to care for the general's wounds. Otherwise, they'd be enlisted as Class D personnel. So they're just going to let him die? I know this is hard to take in. You'd think the Foundation would have changed their ways since the whole Otis incident. Well, looks like they haven't. I'm gonna speak to the general for a bit. All right, head to my lab after you're done, and we can discuss more about this. See you then, Doc. Hey, General Constantine, how are you holding up? Uh, Cody. Is that you? Um, Corey. My, my name is Corey. Ah, Cody. It was Hooper. He got out of his cell. I know. Don't worry about him. I'm gonna take him down. No, it's not just that. He... he had help from the O5 Council. They let him out. The O5? Why? I'm not sure. But it seems like trouble is coming for you. Why me? Corey, I know about you. I know you're secretly still part of the Serpent's Hand. Oh, uh, no? <laughs> Who told you that? I'm not careful. What should I do then? And you cause too much trouble, but you have a good hook. Let's fucking my, my show. Fair enough. Doesn't Maybe. seem like anyone else is around. I know. I wonder if it's him. Him? Who's him? Why are you being so mysterious? Just watch. Do Wait, you have a yard? That? No. How did he get in? Not every. That, you know. People SCP? get a yard. Is it safe? Why Most, but not every Actually, SCP get a yard. Keter? How did he get out? SCP-4999 is classified only as a Keter, simply because he only appears to those who are close to death. But what we do, what we do get instead is an underground yard for ourselves. Uh, I thought you'd come. Cool. We don't have much time left. should respect his last moments. Wow, so SCP-4999 isn't bad at all? Exactly. He just keeps company to those that are lonely. <laughs> hey Cole, did you find anything on the camera footage? Just as suspected, Dr. Patience. They were tampered with as well. Hmm, 
So the old foot really are tampering with the footage. What about Hooper? Do we know if he's still around the building? He could be anywhere, really. I checked the terminals, and there's no trace of him. There has to be something. Some sort of clue. Corey, I really don't think we should be looking into this anymore. We were told not to get involved, remember? Oh, that's right. The general did say to play it safe for now. General is already here. He wants to speak with the both of you. He wants to talk with me too. I didn't. No, you two tried to invest. Huh. So this SCP is just a cardboard box? Well, you never know with these SCPs. Something powerful could be inside it. Nah, that's not possible. Remember, we opened it and found nothing inside. I think you mean you opened it? Okay, no need to get specific on details. General Cage didn't say anything about taking a peek inside. Speaking huh. of the General, what do you think about him? He seemed a bit threatening. Well, yeah. Oh, I forgot to bring lunch again. Hmm. What did Crystal bring this time? Are there like <clears throat> some expired donuts around here? Ooh, what's this? Must be some sort of jelly edible delicacy. I can't let this go to waste. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Dr. Patience, I understand. Okay, huh. I'll see you when you're in danger. Have fun! Yeah, but <laughs> What is he talking about? Oh, uh, do you want pets? Which has a joint smoke, then we'll fuck. Jeez, why haven't you been fired? Done. Fired? No, please. I I can't lose this job. I have to feed my family. Here, here's a joint uh, smoke. I'm just rolling up my joint smoke now. It's, oh, good, baby. Tim. Cool. Tim, eh? All right, everyone. Tim is now considered fired. Get him out of my sight. Huh. Let's have a joint smoke now. Oh, where's the SCP? Then we'll fuck. Maybe if I can find In my room. Uh, Damn, baby. Where could it be? I know I locked the doors. Ugh, whatever. I hope whoever finds the SCP is doing okay. Love it, baby boo. Love it too, baby. Love it, Georgie. Boo. Love it, Georgie, boo. Love it too, master. <sighs> yeah, about that. Ah! Cole! Help me! Hey, what's up, Cory? What can I do for you? Cole, you're the smartest person I know. I need your help. Wait, really? So, between Dr. Patience, Crystal, and me... You think I'm the smartest? Yeah. Why? Did I make the wrong decision? Uh, nope. How can I help you, Corey? I think I'm hallucinating, Cole. Every time I blink, I see something jump near me or at me. It keeps causing me to second guess myself. Hmm. That is odd. Do you see anything now? Uh, not right. Ah! There it is again! Try describing it to me. Um, it's like some green thing. It just jumps at the corner of my eye. And when I try looking around, it's just gone. Huh. And this happens mostly when you blink? Yeah, it's annoying and stressing me out. Okay, well, have you tried not blinking? Huh. You know, that is a good idea. 
If I can't see, I won't hallucinate anymore. That's what I'm saying. Here, I'll use this blindfold. I had this for the pinata SCP, but then it attacked me. I guess now is a good time to use this thing. All right. You see anything change? Nope. In fact, I can't see anything. Perfect. Now, go see Crystal or something. She might know more about what's going on. Uh, okay. Should I take off the blindfold? No, you don't want to hallucinate again, do you? Okay, I guess you're right. Alright, get out of here. Crystal should be in the observation room.